guys, this is Ben with Fiddler Shop. Behind the camera here, we have Felix. Oh. He's going to be showing us how to reset a fallen sound post. So first thing he did was he actually placed a rag under the tailpiece. So when he loosens the strings, the tailpiece isn't going to hit the top and damage it. So while he's doing that, I'm actually going to come over to this side. I'm going to show you the tools you'll need to reset the sound post. So in this video, we're actually going to be showing you two ways. We're going to show you with just using the sound post setter and adjuster, which uh, is the way the Felix is going to do it. Then we're actually going to have Pierre or Fiddler Man come up and show you how to do it with the sound post setting tool. Another thing you'll need is this piece here. This is just a little card that we cut down the middle. This is going to help us see where the sound post goes. So he has all of it loosened. So essentially what he's doing as he's removing the bridge. Take the four strings together. So he did a nice little knot up there. That's just gonna help the string stay in place and not get tight. Now he's removed the end pin, so he can actually look into the violin through the end pin so he can see where the sound post is. Now he's moving the violin back and forth upside down so we can see where the sound post is. Actually, it just fell right out when I tried to get on the angle there. But uh, so now, if you notice on a sound post, it's not really showing that well on the camera. There's actually a little tiny notch in me, so I can get it to focus. Yeah, there we go. There's a little tiny notch. Uh, that is more towards one end than the other. That implies that this end goes towards the top of the instrument. So now what Felix is doing is he's using the setting tool. He's putting it in there, so in that little slot there. Now, looking through the end pin hole again, he's able to see the angle. And it's perfect the first time. And it looks like he got it perfect the first time. Now, what a lot of people will do as well, can't really get an angle there, you can kind of see it there. So, uh, what a lot of people will do as well, that we'll show you, is sometimes if you're trying to make sure it's on a good angle, is we'll take that tool that we were showing you before, now, by splitting it like that, he's able to see exactly where the sound post is sitting. So it's sitting right along here. This is behind the, the, the bridge? You always want the sound post to be behind the bridge, exactly. Okay. Now we'll use the other method. Now we'll show you the other method, exactly. Fiddler Man here. I'm going to show you the second way we used to put the sound post inside a violin. This is our sound post insert or remover tool. Just put the sound post on there so that the smallest end of the sound post is, to is on this side towards the rest of the tool. The thinnest end because the violin is thicker in the middle than it is on the outside. Make sure that the top part, the part that should touch the top, is up. I like to pull the tool, the sound post down so that I have most of the sound post on the bottom of the tool. Then you just simply insert the tool and the sound post together. Keep it pointing towards the middle. Use this section, that's where you want to end up. And then take your uh, sound post adjuster. Now pull the, the, the tool slightly up so that the top part of the sound post is touching the top. And then simply push the bottom in place till you see that the the tool is straight. Now in this direction and in this direction you can see that the sound post is straight. This is also a good way of checking if your sound post is straight. To pull it out simply hold the bottom of the tool and do this and that will take it off of your sound post. Now the sound post is in place. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. I'll do it one more time so you can see what I'm doing. How you take it out of the violin. Put the sound post tool inside 
and apply it on the sound post just as we did when it was outside of the violin. Make sure your strings are loose, of course, and pull the bottom part of the sound post towards the center and then remove it. Be careful with your F holes, obviously. One more time, I'll do the whole process again. So we want this to be on the top and we want the smallest part of the sound post to be towards the this side. Insert it. Always pointing the bottom away from you. Take the bottom, push it out. There we go. In this direction and in this direction you want it to be straight. You can adjust it further with this tool. Now I'm going to do it one last time. I just want to show you that if the sound post won't fit through the hole with the tool there's another way of putting it on. Take it out again. So if you can't get it through this hole or this slot or this hole with the tool on, you simply put the tool in first and then put the tool on like that and do the same thing. You adjust it, make sure that the grains are in line with the tool and inside the instrument with the smallest end that way. You could do the same thing here. Same thing. And then you're in there. Push it all the way down if you want to do it my way. And then you set your sound post. There you go. Sound post in place. Now you can always readjust the sound post using this tool. That's it.